Good morning. <laughs> I'm using the thing that's supposed to track me. Come on. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Three of them now to get to this point. Good Welcome morning. to Margaret being Margaret. It is 5,622 degrees in the Northeast and the humidity is 5,000%. I don't think I'm overstating that. I have not got the air conditioning on. I don't like air conditioning. This afternoon it will go on. But in my next reincarnation, I want to be my friend Joanne. She gets up at six o'clock every morning. She has a huge yard and does all her yard work by 10 so that it's not humid. I'll get up around eight and I'll sit here until 10 and decide that I'm alive. I like her way so much better. I went on a manic cleaning around the house for about an hour. Everything got scrubbed down so beautifully. It got scrubbed down with disinfectant. Everything is in the washing machine and the dishwasher. Only thing I'm going to do today before I call it a day is I want to take the aloe vera out of the window. It's too big. It's going to take an eye out and it's just, it's just too big. And I'm going to replace it with a small cactus. Now, both of them have to be repotted, and I will do that outside. There's some shade on the back little porch thing, so I can do it there. And then I'll tell you the story about the cactus. And that's all I'm doing today. Oh, now how do I get down holding this? I guess like that. Okay, well that worked. I'm gonna take this outside. I'm not gonna put anything produ productive. <laughs> that too. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna put anything protective on the porch on the wood. Sorry, cough drop. The humidity is already hitting me hard. Well, this will be an excuse to wash off the little deck too. You know what? I need. I do need something to put this on. This is dumb, Margaret. Let's not be any dumber than necessary. You know what's bad about being so anal, about keeping things and being a minimalist in my mind? I don't even have a plastic bag like from the grocery store or anything to put this in while I'm transferring it. It has been so hot for so long it's just so humid that I've been trying to get the lawn mode. And the other day, because I never start, I don't feel like until afternoon. So by then, it's just ridiculously hot out and I still do it. And people did get mad at me, family, because I was out doing it in the middle of the day. I got about, I took like 10 minute breaks, you know, 10 minute slots of doing it, 10 minute slots of doing it. And then when it finally was like, yeah, this is the dumbest thing I've done recently, I stopped until like eight o'clock at night, just before it got dark. But the lawn is done. I cannot make myself get going on, the sh on scraping down the shed. It's not good, folks. I need ideas of what to do with this aloe vera plant. I don't think I want to keep it because I don't have any place for it. But... I think people will be very upset if I throw it out, and I don't blame them. It's not going to get a whole lot more of the, I call it dirt. What is it? What should I be calling it? I don't know. This is replanted. Where is it going to go? I need some ideas. It's ideas. It's really huge. Look. Okay. It's very, very big. I don't have any place for it. I don't know what to do. Now this, please be enough soil for this. That's the word I was looking for, soil. This plant, short version of my long story, one of my bestest people in the world, my business partner, Doris Balazian, was with me at the beginning of the salon. She came in right as the salon opened, and immediately she became indispensable. She was 10 years older than I was, and she just was a wealth of knowledge solely why the salon was successful. And we traveled together doing seminars and stuff. And 
I just adore that woman. She really was my mentor, um, probably the most influen influential people in my life. She had cancer, and for five years she had lung cancer, and she died in 92. Just before she died, she gave me a tiny little cactus plant, just like this. Well, that cactus plant, I'm going to put up a picture of it, is now four feet across and is at the salon. It's in the biggest pot you can get without planting it like a tree. And it is, it's just massive and I have no place for it. So when I retire, I was going to sell it because none of the staff really wanted it, I thought. So I finally asked Bree, my salon coordinator, to put it on Marketplace last week, Facebook Marketplace. And an hour later, one of my girls, Michelle, saw it, texted me and said, who do you think you are selling that um, cactus? If you need money that bad, take it out of the drawer. That cactus belongs to all of us. It's part of our family. I was so, so thrilled. So cactus is staying at the salon. They take better care of it than I do anyway. And I took cuttings, gave them to all the girls a little while ago. And this is my cutting of it. And I'm just praying that it doesn't go cuckoo and get too big. It probably will. I have to cut it back. I always said at the salon when it was doing really, really well, and it blooms at least four times a year, that it was Doris telling me if I was doing a good job or not. All right, Doris, I don't need to know if I'm doing a good job. You, have, you can bloom, but stay small. I've got to go get some more. Bloom for this. Okay, I've named it three things now. Dirt, soil, and loom. See how many more I can come up with before we're done. Just before I give up and go into the day. I'm just going to tie up my plants that are getting too scraggly out there. Come on, get out. You shouldn't have been in yet. Stop it. Freaking fracking fruit loose. Stop it. I'm a little bit. Come on. Nope. Shoot. I think the aloe vera is staying out here. Anybody local wants it, let me know. Okay. One handed. Oh, yeah. Okay. Going up. Is that right? Oh, no. I think there's one more. Right there. We'll see. We'll get down and we'll check it out. Come on. Oh, oh it's got to go up one more. Of course it does. Oh, yeah. I don't know how many of these I have in me. Oh, that's gonna have to do. That's where it's going. Well, that's much more looking <laughs> than the aloe vera. But I like it. Oh, I gotta water it. Who's supposed to be reminding me? <laughs> Whose turn was it to watch me? Gosh darn it all, folks. All right. Just gonna go out and wash down the deck. But I'm bringing you with me this time, so. You can keep an eye on me since when I did the fan the other day. I almost drowned myself. Wow, it's warm. That <laughs> was dumb. See, this is why I need you guys here. I knew that if I sprayed that, it was going to get everywhere. Son of a gun. I think that my brain kicks in about five to ten seconds after my actions. Oh, goodness sakes alive. Righty tighty. Righty tighty, lefty Lucy. It's off. I'm going to get my, get my water. I brought it out here and then brought it back inside. Ask me why. I have no idea. Isn't it amazing how the little jobs feel so good when they're done? That wasn't a big deal. But it was to me. When I scrubbed the kitchen out, I took all the grates off the oven, that I mean the stove top. They're all in the dishwasher. So when I do go back in now, the house feels so clean because you know you did it. It's all mental, you know. It's all in my mind. I have been reading so many we have like 75 comments so far on grocery shopping in your area of the world 
I am having such a good time reading those, and so are a lot of other people. So if you haven't responded, please do. It's not like when I... I love your comments. I, mean, I truly enjoy them and look for them several times a day. So participate. Join in. You're part of this family. This crazy mixed up little world that we've created. Oh my goodness sake. I think I'm most envious and I've said this. I would love to be within walking distance of a, of a grocery store or a farm stand to get my produce. You have to drive here. I think that would be so great. It's like I want the best of all worlds. I want to live in the country, but I want to live near a grocery store and I want to be able to walk to everything. Yeah, that's not how it works. You know, it doesn't feel bad when you're sitting. <laughs> I wonder if I could scrape from my chair. I don't think so. I'm going to go in. I'm going to make some lunch. Thank you for being with me. Please comment if I haven't made that perfectly clear and like and subscribe and share. I'm done. Have a good one.